Have I ever mentioned this game's really pretty? Aha! Uh -huh. Sure Antoine had another lab, but he always said it was my imagination. A lab partner knows. Please stand by for decontamination. I love that this Sally story is going in such a horror bent. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. The winning argument. Oh, this one's also about to break. Useless. Overdrive blueprint. New formula. Dexapam. I could make more knockout juice. Let's do that. Mercury amalgam. Oh, I still don't have the toxic wastewater. Right. I can make a pointy stick. At this point, I think I'm good with the cleaver. card doing here? I bet whoever left it was wearing a dress without pockets. <laughs> Fucking dresses without pockets. Pants without pockets. I've experienced that lately. God, this is disgusting. I don't want that. Gross. Dexapam. Resignations. September 28th, 1964 to Verloc from Jimmy Cardigan, Waste Pump Supervisor. All my men have quit or gone on a holiday. Despite doubling their joy, they don't seem to fancy working on an island where the city is dumping downers like some sort of latter-day leper colony. I can no longer staff the Waste Pump facility under these conditions, but I will personally remain here as long as I can out of duty. You're welcome, you bastard. Why am I filling up those things with water that needs to be filtered? I might find clean water and then I can just use that. from the Garden District, September 12, 1964. Tests negative for plague. Think we don't matter, just because we can't take joy. That gives you the right to stop us with plague. Calm down. This experiment has approval from Dr. Verloc himself. knows we have to do something. This is something. Look, just drink it down. There's a good girl. Why don't you drink it? For science! How did you get out of your 
God! Bottoms up! God! No! Good. Fuck the people here. Ooh, is that one in good condition? Or is that the one I just dropped again? That's the one I just dropped again. Hey, Virgil. I suppose I just shove my canteen in there and hope it doesn't burn my hand off. Full canteen. I hope Harry's right about getting the mercury out. Do I need more toxic wastewater or is that enough? I mean, it's enough for the quest, but do I need it for other things? Mercury Amalgam. Alright. Next ingredient. Pituitary extract. Can't fast travel there. I like to open that up. I'd also like to explore more of this island. It's so small and intriguing. Stuart Adams was tinkering with my old extractor, wasn't he? Maybe I can buy it back from him. Or borrow it. I just got a crap on a point 17. My god. What next? Heal better? That's good. Yeah, let's get that. Best prices with shopkeepers. I guess that'd be nice. Things wear out half as quickly. That'd be nice. I would like to eventually get the thing that allows me to sprint around without anybody caring. Hmm. Yeah, let's start working towards that. I'll get Smooth Talker. Not that I care, but just because I have to get that to eventually get to it. Sprint quietly. Then I can get the ignore my annoying habits thing after that. I think it's this building here that has the access hatch. Oh wait, things heal better. I probably could use a normal healing ball. Oh, this is a lot more satisfying than undermining the other girl's confidence. I don't know how I feel about that comment. I don't really like it very much. I'm not sure how to explain how I don't like it. <laughs> Nothing in it. Good. Now I can sneak back in any time. I guess with that, even if I need more toxic water in the future, it'd be really quick to get it. So yeah, let's start to... I mean, there's not much more to explore, just like there and there. But I want to explore them. I feel like there could be really special stuff amongst this haze. Oh, 
Or maybe there's fuck all. I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. Mm -mm. Whoa, no. Yeah, so that just leads back here. I want to check over there, though. Oof. That's barbed wire you just crawled on. <laughs> yeah, there's a thing. This is a thing. The hell's that laughing? Let's get to recording, thankfully. Looks like I can get on top. Power cell, advanced machine bits, bobby pins, healing bombs. Oop. Didn't mean to hump there. Nothing special, like super special, just a lot of crafting ingredients. Polarity device. Forgot what that even does, but I'm pretty sure I don't have any. Blue Molotovs. It's just a treasure trove of crafting stuff. I don't need glass bottles. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything super important. Nope. Yeah, I'm glad I, I'm glad I checked over there. Hmm. I could use a bit of money. And I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. Sally! The old top shelf. You never come by anymore. Well, Siona. Oh, Cerberus. I. She's never understood me, Sally. Not like you do. She mentioned, among other things, that you've improved my extractor. Have you still got my extractor? I have. Oh, you're going to be very proud of me. It's much quicker now. Might even uh, sting a little less. You've improved it. Would you like to test it out? You sure Fiona won't murder you? Oh, oh she barks, but she don't bite <laughs> much. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works. Honey pituitary extract from someone who's been exposed to mustard gas. Mikey Forrester's clinic ought to have a patient or two like that. I'll send him a note on the blower. So, now that I can actually barter with you, who are the main person? See what's new. Who the main person I'm going to sell stuff to? Chem lab upgrade kit. Oh, they sell a bunch of those. I guess it actually matters with Sally. They just they just kind of sell everything, don't they? Anti choke. Toxic fog heals you for a while. Who needs sleep? User does not need sleep for 24 hours. Run and jump and play without losing your breath. Increases the rate of stamina regeneration for a short time. Slows all other characters. Oh, slow-mo. Thickens the blood so you can keep more of it inside you. <laughs> I haven't found bleeding to be an issue for me at all. 
I don't even think I've used a single bandage this entire playthrough as Sally. Velvety emulsion. It's a crafting ingredient. Hmm. Pay 13 for each of those. I don't think I have like a ton of stuff I want to sell you at the moment. Let's see what Mikey has to say for himself. Someone's upstairs. How'd they get in? Uh oh. Well, General. Why didn't you let yourself in? You didn't answer my knock. I wasn't home. Then you ought to lock the door. Oh, the memories always come back. Oh, then you have such dreadful things to remember. Be nice. <laughs> Let me make the bad memories go away. What on earth is that? Are you hallucinating? Rainbow has all sorts of crazy side effects. It couldn't be a cat. Hasn't been a cat since the war. You are going to love this one. Couldn't be a baby. Don't be silly. No one's had a baby in 15 years. Say, ah! Dance with me, Robert. Shame I won't remember any of you. You do come here to forget. still be here. He'll forget. He has to forget. No one can know about you, Gwen. Especially not the General. Found someone. Meet usual place. Oh, for heaven's sake, Mikey. You could have just written down the name and sent it up the blower. Meet him in the alley, just over there. I still love baby happy sounds. Not happy baby sounds, but baby happy sounds. So we're a lot of people's drug dealer, basically, but General Bing's a very special client. I'm risking my job, you know. Patient records are supposed to be private. I'm not going to hurt him. I promise. I suppose I didn't really want to know the truth. Don't worry. No one will ever know. Arthur! Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. You lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me! Sally! I knew it was you. I, I mean, it's another you. The glasses, the hair, you're all dashing now. But the way you look around, all intense like that, I just knew that's Arthur. How the hell are you? Sally? You look quite stylish. This ancient thing? I've had it two weeks. I'm not even sure it's still in style. Queen and White checked. Your dress. That night you ran out the door and I never saw you again. <laughs> That horrible gingham dress. I had to grab something to put on, didn't I? Wait. You're off your joy. Oh, don't be oh, ridiculous. Oh, you of little faith. I'd never turn you in. You wouldn't believe what I've got myself into. I saw Percy. A picture of him. And I remembered the train. Oh, shit. I have to go find him. I promised I'd take care of him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk, in the city. Uh, I've been living in the garden the district. The garden district? Off the scraps of our former civilization. Oh God. I could help you. I do... 
No, General Bing. Oh, the General. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. You still hate me. Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 We're years. 16! How could you? Because he took me in when my mum died. Because... Because he was so generous. Because he said he loved me. I don't know. Some things just happen whether you want them to or not. We were so close. The two musketeers. Remember? You know how we used to sit on the swings by the crash V1? These days I spend a lot of time there. Remembering. Look. It's a horrible, terrible world out there. And no matter how clever and brave and fierce you are now, you'll need a letter of transit to get into the Emerald City. I've missed you for 14 years. I think I can escape Wellington Wells without Arthur. your help. And I definitely don't want any favours from your latest friend. Arthur! Well, there's your answer, darling. Arthur hasn't forgotten you. Shit. Colonel Lawrence? Wasn't he the hero of Ramsgate? I mean, of course, he's been exposed to mustard gas. He was in the Great War. I do need his pituitary extract. I guess I'll have to pay him a visit. They're up to it again. <laughs> that is a hilarious, I'm assuming, bug. The infinite scream old lady. <laughs> this, uh... Will this pump be... Contaminated water, or...? No. It was interesting to see that conversation again, with all that we know now, plus from the other perspective. I was wondering if... Uh, I was wondering, like, what the timeline was for... Sally's playthrough versus Arthur's, and the answer is basically simultaneous. By the way, what I said during Arthur's playthrough, where Arthur was mad at Sally that they slept with Arthur's father, and then I realized, wait a minute, weren't they about 16? And I was pretty sure Sally was about the same age, but I wasn't sure. Well, that just confirmed it. Sally said, we were 16. So Sally was 16 as well. Sort of ironic I became a chemist, considering what Mum did, if you think about it. Oh, that's dark. Poisoned everybody, their own family and themselves. Um, yeah. So I just want to reiterate that Arthur is a bit of a shithead. Like, Arthur, you're mad that your 16-year-old friend whose entire family died, slept with your father, who is probably like 40. What in the fuck? Just needed a quick conversation, now they're all good. I bet I can just walk right on in. Sorry, I'm very busy. The family is in mourning. And will be shortly. With any luck. I've come with the Colonel's prescription. Prescription? What does he need with medicine? He's he's dying. No thanks. I know you're a clever chemist and all, but he's very old, and, and we've decided to, to let nature take its course. Oh, it's not a cure. You can't cure old age, can you? <laughs> this is really just to help ease the way. Help him sleep. Wouldn't mind if he slept a bit more. Always ringing that goddamn bell. All right. I'll give him the pills. I'm afraid it goes in the other end. Oh. <laughs> I don't suppose you'd like to administer it. I can do that. I understand that the family is sometimes uncomfortable. Great. Well, up you go. That, that cutscene win places. Excuse me. 
And didn't I just see like an old lady? What are you doing here? Did I just see like an old lady pop up in here? Do you all actually like... Are, you're supposed to be here, I guess. Alright. No! It's in the will! We agreed! That was before you pissed on the Sheraton sofa! I did not! It was Edmund! You put him up to it! Because it comes to me in the will! Served you right! Hey, you mine. knew I loved that sofa! Well, you can have it now! What will you trade me? Did nobody else notice that I just did that? Oh no, they did. Yes, I'm cutting up everybody, including the old lady. <laughs> Sorry, but that's the sort of playthrough this is. Oof. No snakes in my garden. Don't be a drag, baby. Don't fucking touch me. Always do that. Oh, a bit too bright and shiny, Sally. I don't think there's any reason to loot every single body. They're not going to have anything good on them, are they? A shovel and a mushroom? Nah. Hiding in the potted plant, I see. I can do that too. Uh oh. Are there more? Are these more people showing up? Oh no! Um. Leave that alone. That's not hmm. yours. Look at her. Better you than me. It's like the citizens saw a need. Like, Sorry, oh, they're missing people sitting in places. So they just come in and fill the seats. I bet more is gonna come. Lovely day for it. We must catch up sometime. Yeah, don't go down stairs. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> yes, they are. Aw, gave that lady a heckin' fright. No, is it? Is that you, Hope? I, I thought you were gone on holiday. They've been beastly to me, your sisters. I'm sorry, Papa. They are waiting for me to die. I'm surprised I haven't woken up with a pillow over my face. How horrible. You survived artillery and mustard gas, but your daughter's your enemy now. You're not Hope, are you? Who are you? Who? Anna! Regina! Help! This will only sting a little. <laughs> you deserve better. We don't have a lot of heroes. All right. I have my maturity extract and my amalgam. I need to replace the saffron and the methadrone. How do I get those? Hmm. That was horrible what we just did to them. Oh my god, we just drilled into their neck, their face, their head, I don't know, some wherever the pituitary extract is kept. 
Jesus Christ. bunch of non-suches from your mum's garden but she's crying can you make me different i want to be different but you are different she means like everyone else i'm supposed to care about dresses and dances and all i can think about are rockets and chemicals can you give me something to make me silly for a couple of hours i dare say Shush. you don't have to care about dresses and dances you just have to pretend to. Your mother told you to always tell the truth, didn't she? The lies they tell children. But you ladies don't care about dresses, do you? But I love dresses. Keep to your chemicals for later. Later? Later when? Things change. What do you mean? Do you know something? Where did you all go? The Weird Sisters. They're always making potions and things out of herbs. I bet they could help me. Visit the witches. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, not that far away. Just a little bit across the bridge and then north. Ooh, we have tensical points. I think that means we can get... The thing that allows us to sprint and nobody will care. Thank God. Oh my God. Which is up to some witching. I keep forgetting. You know my secret. This potion will help your daughter sleep. She won't get hungry as quickly. I don't know that I believe in magic. What else is left to believe in? The potion isn't magic. It's herbalism. Your mum knew herbs pretty well, didn't she? Yes. Especially what you can do with foxglove. In fact, oh, I came here for some ingredients I need for some... Well, drugs. Have you tested magic and proved it wanting? Or have you simply assumed that what you don't understand can't be true? I suppose I... haven't tested it. Then do this, if you like. We place our sacrifices in a chest in the wilds. I'll put the place on your map. Put some bricks in the chest and say this prayer. Bricks? See what comes of it, and then return. But... About my ingredients? We'll help you with what you want, but first, learn what you need. You don't even know what that is. Before the learner attains wisdom, the teacher has the right to give several tasks. Several? That's how it works, yes. All right. When will I see you three again? When you know what is unknown. Anon! Anon! That's pretty close. I 
I'm not sure I actually have any bricks, I've just realized. Oh. Of course the lads are here. Mustn't let the birds go thinking they can do things by themselves. That worked pretty well. <laughs> Just barely anything, although they are bleeding now. He's like about fighting. I've never noticed it there before. Dear Miss Dick, I think it's likely that those are not chickens at all, but rather I think they might be crows. There we go. Five bricks. Now I just say this prayer. Goddess, lighten my burden. Give me the strength to carry what I must, so I no longer need the strength of others. Goddess, I dedicate these bricks to you. Blessed be. All right. Huh? That's it? That's strange. I do feel stronger. Maybe because I'm not carrying around a ton of bricks. You can now I guess I carry should talk more. to the Weird Sisters again. 170 pounds. I forgot exactly what I was at before, but I'm pretty sure that's a good upgrade. Did you say the prayer? I sort of feel stronger, actually. I think I can actually carry a bit more. You can't prove it's magic, though. What if it's psychosomatic? So what if it is? You're still feeling stronger. I'd rather you taught me about herbs. I need them. For the drugs I have to make. Patience. You are close to the learning you seek. Our hinge has been occupied. The old stone circle. The wedding party stones. There is ancient power there. The sacred circle has been polluted. If you can clear it, then we'll teach you about the herbs you need. Well, that sounds sort of fun and righteous. Why not? <laughs> oh, that is very far away. Probably gotta go from here, down here. Might even be a bridge to get there. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, well, we are gonna go here, but actually first, I have 20 skill points to spend apparently, and our baby feeder is apparently done. <laughs>